Hey everybody! So today obviously you can see that I'm wearing extensions because my hair is obviously not this long and I've been getting a lot of questions, people asking me like, well are you still going to wear extensions? And of course, I mean, this is a hair channel so I couldn't, I don't feel like I could really just give up on the extensions um, because you could just do, you're limited with short hair. So. Of course, I'm going to keep wearing extensions. I've worn extensions for a long time, and I've worn extensions when I've had really short hair, which is what I have right now. Um, I'm going to show you how I put them in with my hair this short. My last How to Install Hair Extension video, my hair was a little bit longer, and it was thinner. Um, not thinner, but it was thinned out like because of the breakage, and your hair will blend better and easier if you have breakage in your hair, or if you have your hair very, very layered and very um, thinned out, because the the pieces the rows that are laying on top of the extensions are going to be thinner at the end so it'll easily blend so it is not as easy to blend short hair with extensions and i really wouldn't recommend blending extensions um trying to do extension on any shorter hair than i have right now i mean if the layers are shorter than this because the what the layers at the back are probably to my chin and I specifically made them like that. I specifically asked for a haircut so my, my layer, my shortest layer would fall kind of at my chin. Um, that's why it's easier to blend. I'm going to answer a bunch of questions at the end of the video because I know I'm going to, I'm going to get a ton of questions that I've gotten on my other videos and I'm going to, I'm going to answer that all at the end so stay tuned to the end if you want to know answers to questions because I always get a ton of them and I don't want to bore you at the beginning if you just want to see how I do it. So, if there's some questions I didn't answer, I'll probably answer them in the description. So check there too. So if you're interested in seeing how I put extensions in my short hair, please keep watching. First I'm going to part my hair very low on my head. I would even suggest even lower than this. Then straighten the bottom pieces just so the bottom pieces blend with your extensions. Then you're going to take a three clip weft or a two clip, it's up to you. And you can back comb it and hairspray it if you want. Um, I'm not really going to do it too much, but you can do it if you're more secure that way. Then I'm just going to clip in the extension right along my part. And as you can see, it's close to the side of my head. And then directly on top of that, I'm going to do another part that's like a finger width apart. And then clip in another three clip weft. But every time you part it, you're going to want to straighten your hair, so it's very close to the edge. Then take another section down, which is another just finger width above the last one, and then uh, straighten that as well. And then I'm putting a four clip weft in the back, so it's really close to the edges of my hair, so it helps conceal the, the little bottom pieces. So next. I'm going to uh, part my hair again right above my ears and it's important to get really close to your ears. I'm taking a four clip weft and clipping it in here and then taking a three clip weft and clipping it in on the other side so that I get one full line so there's no little hairs peeking through. And I'm going to section again one finger width. We're doing this all the way up. Straighten my hair just like you do all the rest of the pieces. Then I'm taking another four clip weft. I'm putting it on the opposite side that I did the last four clip weft just so the lines don't go directly with each other in the back. So it goes all the way to there. Then I'm going to take my three clip weft again and clip it on the other side so I get a full line of hair. This really just helps to conceal all the shorter pieces underneath. Then I'm going to do another finger width above that, take another four clip weft, put that in, and always remember to straighten your hair before you do this. Then I'm taking another three clip and I'm putting it on the other side directly next to the other one and you're just going to want to make sure that your extensions fall pretty close to the front of your hairline so that way you can't see the front pieces um, don't blend. 
So I'm just straightening all my hair right now. And as you can see, it's still not blending because my hair is just freshly cut and I like it that it's all choppy like this and not really blendable. So I'm taking a two clip weft and I'm clipping that in right in the front of my hair. And then I'm adding a four clip weft to the back of my head just so everything blends and you can actually do a four clip and a three clip here instead of two two clips and a four clip I think it'll be easier just add the two clip to the bottom instead of the three clip on the very bottom um, and that way they don't have to overlap each other either now I'm taking another two clip weft and putting it on the other side then I like to take a boar bristle brush and just kind of brush my hair through to blend it all together and I'm, I'm blending the extensions with the hair right now by straightening it so it kind of all straightens together. And if you see some long, some shorter pieces in the front, what you're going to do is you're going to take the hair and move it underneath those pieces so it breaks it up and like makes it less noticeable. So I'm just adjusting it. So just adjust any pieces like on the bottom and stuff like that like I'm doing here. You can see kind of a shorter piece so I'm moving the weft down a little bit on top of it so the it's not so chunky. So that's how my extensions look after I put everything in. I hope you guys like it. For a diagram of how I clip the extensions in, please visit my Facebook page. So I hope you guys liked this video and found it informative. Um, let me just go through some questions that I know I'm going to get asked about my hair. So the first thing I know people are going to say is like, well, why did you cut your hair if you're just going to put extensions to make your hair longer? Um, and why don't you just grow your hair if you like long hair? Like, you look better with long hair. Why don't you just, you know, have long hair? You know, just questions like that. Um, basically, the reason is is that my hair, it, it's really hard to grow, and I've mentioned this in, in videos before, but, and I feel repetitive, sorry for the people who've already heard this, but um, my hair is very hard to grow because it's very fine, so it's very damaged, gets very damaged easily. So I'm not going to be wearing my hair straight like this all the time because um, I don't want to straighten my hair. And um, so I probably won't be wearing extensions, and my hair looks better short um, when with my natural hair, especially right now, because I got all the dead ends basically cut off it's very healthy right now so it's very thick and feeling so it'll help to grow because there's not so much breakage so I'm hoping maybe I can kind of grow it from here and not use so much heat this is the first time I've just really straightened my hair in a really long time um, because it, that's the only way to blend with extensions if you want to wear extensions straight and you know not not layered, not anything, which I'm going to layer my hair because it's just easier to blend when your hair is layered. So I just put this video up for anybody who just wanted to show how to put your hair directly in without, you know, with extensions, without layering, without doing anything, and this is what I do. I didn't sew them together, um, I didn't do anything yet, so this is basically it. Usually I get a question like, well, why do you put so many pieces in your hair? Why don't you just layer the hair on top of each other, like, have thicker wefts? sew them together and you have thicker wefts. One, my hair is very fine, so you'll see it through, and if you watch the video, of course, you'll see how high I put the, the clips up. And if you have fine hair and you put the clips up very high like this, you'll be able to start seeing it through if the, the layer is too thick of the hair. Um, also, you want to put your, especially if you have a blunt, more of a blunt cut like I do, it's not very layered, um, you're going to want to put the extensions right on top of each other and the reason I do that is because if your hair were to move like this and the extensions weren't very close together you would see that there's short pieces hanging down like so if the bigger the space in between the extensions the easier you're gonna see if your hair moves like up here it looks more natural if you put them closer together because obviously that's how your hair is your hair naturally falls you know right on top of each other not in layers and stuff like that so I know I get the question like that how many pieces am I using in my hair I used two sets of 120 grams except for except for these little pieces which I'm thinking I should have probably dyed as well see this is the color it was I'll get into the color later um, but that's what I used 
two, two sets of that from Lush Locks Extensions. They're from MyPinkVanity.com. I'll link it below. Um, I really, this is my favorite quality of hair that I've, I've gotten. The, the hair is not thick all the way down, but it's basically, like if you see it, it's not really thin, uh, as other extensions were, and it's pretty healthy hair, like it's shiny, it matches my hair, and I really like it. I've liked it for years, I've had a bunch of sets of these, um, I've had a video on how to take care of them. These particularly have been really good, and I've had multiple sets. The length of the hair I have is 20 inches, which I'll probably trim. Uh, I like the ends to be a little bit more blunt, so I'm going to trim these. I'm going to, uh, you know, layer them and all that stuff. So right now, as it stands, my hair is 20 inches long, and I'm about, I'm 5 foot 6, so it comes right about to here. The color is Beach Blonde, I believe. I don't know. The package, I could probably look it up online. I'll, link, I'll put it right here. I'll link it below the exact color to the exact color I have. I always low light my extensions because it's really hard to get a perfect match on my hair color. I have a whole video on how I low light my extensions. I'll link that below. I actually use the same color that's in my hair right now. I use that color um, in my video too. So you can find out the color, um, everything that I've used and how I did it um, in that other video. So I'll link that below. The next question is, wow, there's so many clips in your hair, like isn't that uncomfortable? To me it's not really uncomfortable just because I'm so used to it, but in general I won't keep all these clips on the hair, I'll um, find out what row, how many rows and what goes with what and I'll sew those together and I'll remove some clips. So at the most I have like four clips on each row. Um, right now there's probably about four, five, six, seven, seven clips on each row and I'll, I'll probably sew on like make it into like four clips so it's a there's a lot less clips it's a lot faster to put in than to do this but I just thought I would show you exactly how I would do it um, if I didn't you know sew them together or anything like that so I have a video on how I sew them together and how I take the clips off and all that stuff so if you want to see that um, I'll link it below also I get a questions like how long is the weft from here to here um, everybody has a different size head I actually have kind of a smaller head in general so everybody's gonna be different so you're just gonna have to go with what fits for you um, I'll do like a four clip and a three clip I don't know exactly how long that is I never really measured it I just kind of see what the length of my own head is and then go from there and then I probably would get, you know, I usually get the question, it takes, does it take a really long time to put them in? When my hair is like this, it takes longer. Like when I have to straighten it and then um, it's all one length. Yes, it takes, it takes a longer time. It doesn't take me that long. It probably takes me about, you know, 20 minutes to do. But it does take longer, you know, to do this. When I layer my hair, I will, you know, it, it's, it blends a lot easier. It's not as hard. But... For this kind of look, yeah, it's, it's it takes about 20 minutes. Oh, I get a question, can I put my hair in a ponytail when my hair is this length, with my hair like this? Um, you could probably put, see, when you put your hair behind your ears, it makes my ears stick out because I have so many clips um, in the front here. So, to actually put it when your hair is this short, you could put it probably in a low ponytail like this. But you can't put it up, especially if your hair is short, you won't be able to put it up in a higher ponytail anyways because your, your bottom hair will show. So if you want to try to put it in a lower ponytail, um, that will be, you know, up to you. With your hair exactly like this, I actually have a video on how to put your hair in to your hair extensions in to put it in a ponytail. Um, so I'll link that below as well. And then... Like I said, I was, I'm was i going to layer my hair, so I have a video on how I layer my hair. What I'm going to do is I'm going to layer the front here, so it gets it blends more with my hair, and also I'm going to layer my whole head, so it blends much easier. Um, as you can see, my hair here, this is my short hair, so I'm probably, I'm probably going to um, start my layer probably right about here, and then layer it down throughout. Um, that's the reason why I have my hair, like my layer in the back, is like this short. So it's kind of, it's similar. So I'll layer it probably right here. So it gives the first layer starts right here of my natural hair and then I'll layer it all throughout. So that will make it a lot, um, a lot easier 
to blend in my hair. I won't have to do so much straightening and all that stuff. Um, the bottom of my hair, you're gonna ha I'm gonna probably have to straighten because it gets all weird. You can also pin it up if you are uncomfortable with seeing a little bit of this, the shorter hair on the bottom. So I hope you guys liked this video and found it informative.